Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mariam. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the preview pans, today's tutorial is a Coachella look just in time for spring festival season. I am so excited. I'm actually going to Coachella this year for the first time ever. I am so looking forward to the music, to the colors, to the vibe. Naturally, when I started brainstorming all the looks, all the clothes that I'm gonna wear, started thinking about colors, and I really wanted to utilize all these cool pastels, especially the lipsticks that I've been getting in the mail lately. And as I tested them out on myself, I realized that my teeth were uh, looking a little dark, a little bit more yellow than normal in comparison. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know I've partnered up with Crest before. So I'm partnering up with them again. Perfect timing for Coachella. And I'm gonna be whitening my teeth with Crest 3D White Strips with light. I've been using Crest White Strips for as long as I can remember. I swear by this product, it works and I am just so thrilled and honored to be working with them again. Love this brand, love this product, and again, perfect timing. Anyway, I have already whitened my teeth prior to filming this tutorial. I am on my fifth session, I believe, but by the time I'm done with the 10 sessions, I will be at Coachella, so my teeth will be looking nice and bright. These strips are a little bit different from the original ones. They take about an hour, after which you use the blue LED light to enhance the whitening power even more. So what I usually like to do while I keep them in is start getting ready. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing while I'm at Coachella. I'm gonna be putting on my under eye patches. I'm gonna be doing my nails, a little sunless tanning. Why not? Because it goes so well with a bright white smile. And if you have some time left over, you can even start your foundation, which is exactly what I did prior to this video. Hence why my face is already on. So I'm ready to get to this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. I love you guys. As you can tell, I'm already wearing my foundation. I already contoured underneath my foundation. And if you wanna see how that's done, you can definitely check out any of my previous videos. But for the sake of time today, I really wanna concentrate on the artistry. I am going to do one thing to my face. I'm going to pick up my City Kitty bronzer and I'm just going to lightly warm up the perimeter of my face, just like that. I wanna add a little bit of a sun-kissed glow, just so I can match the environment at Coachella and in Palm Springs a little better. I'm going to come back to the face in just a little bit. First, I'm just gonna dot on my primer. This primer is going to keep your eyeshadows, your liners, all your colors on all day long, even through dancing, even through sweating even through the hot heat of the sun. So it's very important to cover every single crevice of your lid, especially the outer corners, the inner corners, and that lower lash line. The next thing that I'm gonna do is pick up this big brush, dip it into the City Kitty bronzer, add this bronzer to my transition. So a little bit higher than my crease, blending into the brow bone and into the temple area. I'm almost creating a wave shape. Do you see what I'm doing? And I'm even connecting it to my nose contour right here in the bridge. This shape on the eye, connecting it to the nose and to the temple almost has a 70s vibe to it, which I think is so fitting with music festivals and Coachella. Then I'm gonna pick up the deeper shade, statuesque, just a little bit on a pointed brush and uh, chisel it out a little bit. Nothing too crazy, just providing a base for my eye makeup art. For my lid, I'm gonna pick up this pale pink matte shade, pack it on. This is also going to clean up that crease, add a little bit of dimension and contrast. I'm using shadows from the Basquiat collection from Urban Decay. I had to use an artist's collaboration palette. If I'm gonna be creating eye makeup art, come on. Also gonna add the same shade right under the brow arch to clean up the brow, to clean up that crease. I'm picking up Goldilocks Gel Liner. I'm gonna start lining and winging out my top lash line. Yellow is my favorite color, as you guys know. So I'm so thrilled to be doing a tutorial with yellow. For Coachella, when it comes to makeup, I think bigger is better. So don't be afraid to elongate that wing 
to extend it all the way up to the heavens. Or at least to the tail end of your brow. Yellow makes me happy. It just does. It's so sunny. So warm and friendly. I love it. All right, moving on. For the waterline, I want to do something funky and vibrant. I want to utilize these beautiful shades of blue. So let's see. That one's pretty cool. That one's really vibrant. Ooh, and this one's pretty matte. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to use this bright matte blue to line my waterline. I think I might want to add a little bit of that darker turquoise right underneath, just for some drama. This is a long-lasting pencil, so the drama is going to last, which is also another thing to remember if you're going to be doing festival makeup, if you're going to be dancing and spending a lot of time in the sun. Make sure all the liners that you're using are waterproof. Make sure they set very well. I'm going to set the waterline a little bit further using this shade here and also smudging it a little bit to give it some smokiness. You don't want a solid blue line under your eye. Don't worry, I'm gonna add a lot more to it so it's not gonna look this crazy. This is just a, a work in progress, if you will. Next, I'm gonna take my Grandiose liner, the black one, and I am going to separate this yellow from the blue by outlining my wing. You can even line very closely to the lashes in case you're gonna be wearing falsies. That way they blend in a little bit easier and the band can uh, be masqueraded a little bit better. After adding the black to my lash line, I felt like I took away a little bit too much of the yellow, so I decided to throw more yellow into the mix right on top. I even extended it some further. Why not? It's a festival look after all, so I wanna get festive. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get really festive. I'm gonna take this makeup cream, I'm gonna apply a little bit onto this palette. Then I'm gonna take a little dotting tool. This one is for nail art, but you can use anything. You could use the back of a brush, you could use a Q-tip whatever you prefer. I'm gonna dip it into this mixture here and I'm going to start adding dots to my transition area right here. I wanna make sure that the dots are visible when my eye is open, so I'm putting them way above my crease. Don't worry if your dots are a little imperfect, that's totally normal. And I think it actually makes for a more unique design. Extending the dots all the way into my temple area and also into the area of my nose contour. For the tear duct, I'm going to use a rhinestone instead of a dot. First, I'm going to take a little bit of clear lash glue, just dot it on where I would want this line to continue. So then I'm going to take a clear lip liner. I'm going to pick up this rhinestone and I'm going to place it right on top of the glue, finishing off this lovely line of dots. Same thing on the other side. And I decided to go with an iridescent rhinestone for the inner corner. I think it adds a little pop, which is always so necessary. The next thing that I'm gonna do, another thing that is very necessary, is add a little bit of glitter to my lower lash line. Why not? Glitter always makes everything look more festive more exciting, more celebratory, just better. Next, I'm gonna apply my mascara, the usual to the top lashes, to the bottom lashes. Okay, so I am done with the eyes for now. I may wanna add something else later, I don't know, that's just how I am, but I'm gonna go back to the face. I'm gonna add a little bit of this beautiful blush, just a little bit of peachiness right here on the cheeks. I'm gonna give myself a nice spritz. I'm gonna pick up some of this highlighter. Highlight the center of my nose. Milk mustache highlighter. Tops of the cheekbones. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, iridescent highlighter. And I'm gonna add that right on top for that little, not so subtle, mermaid glow. The very, very tops of the cheekbones. Very festival appropriate. Wow. I have a couple of options for the lips. I have this beautiful periwinkle type blue, but I think that might be a little too blue. I also have the super vibrant yellow, but then again, it's gonna make the whole look very yellow. 
this gorgeous pearly white. Let's go with my pearly whites. I think I might go for a lavender. Doesn't it just bring the whole look together? It is decided. Thank God my teeth are whitened because all of these colors tend to make the teeth look super yellow and dark in comparison because these shades are all pastel. They're all much lighter than typical lipsticks. You could always fake it with Photoshop and Facetune. You cannot fake a white smile in person. No, honey. So it's better to just keep your teeth looking pearly white. Thank God for my crest white strips with light. So I'm going to outline the shape. Then I'm gonna use this beautiful lavender. Apply it right on top. Then while it's still drying, I'm gonna outline just a little bit, create a subtle ombre. And here is the final look. Everything is on, hair is on, earrings are on, all the accessories are here. Little Pocahontas, tribal inspired, why not? I am feeling it, I am ready to step out. I am ready for Coachella, I wish it was Coachella already. I'm so excited about this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. Let me know if you have any questions about anything at all, about this look, about Coachella, about crest whitening strips with light, anything at all, leave it down below and I will respond ASAP. Thank you so much to Crest for always hooking me up. I love you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.